Understanding the claim follows a guide to English phrasing. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language. The claim follows. This phrase can be a bit tricky for English learners, so we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how and when to use this phrase effectively. Let's start with the basics. The claim follows is a phrase used to indicate that a statement or conclusion is a logical or natural consequence of something that has been previously stated. It's often used in academic, legal, or formal contexts. Think of it as a way of saying, given what we know, this next point makes sense. Now, let's dissect the phrase. The claim refers to an assertion or statement that is being made. Follows, in this context means to come after something in sequence or as a result. So, when put together, the claim follows essentially means that a particular statement logically comes after or as a result of the preceding information. Examples can really help clarify things. Let's look at a few. 1. In a debate. Given the evidence of the economic benefits, the claim follows that this policy will improve our standard of living. 2. In academia, from these experiments, the claim follows that the new drug is more effective than existing treatments. In each example, the claim follows introduces a conclusion that is a logical extension of the information presented before it. When using the claim follows, be careful not to use it for claims that aren't logically connected to the previous statements. It should only be used when there is a clear and direct link between the preceding information and the claim being made. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, the claim follows. Remember, it's all about showing that a statement is the logical consequence of what has been previously discussed. Use it wisely in your writing and speaking, especially in more formal or academic settings. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English.